Okay, what we got here is a 4.3 GM motor. It's 2001, I believe. But that hole up there, if you see right about in the middle of the screen there, maybe a little to the... But anyway, that's where the um, crankshaft position sensor goes, all right? So all this is is a hole with a bolt so there. So it seems how you get that hole that goes up in the block. That's all the sensor does. It just slides up in there. There's no ring around the side of it here, and that's what seals it, all right? There's a little plastic flange here that goes up. So you put this up in there and tighten the bolt down, and it should be good to go, you would think. Well, if you notice on the end of this one, I don't know if you can see that or not, it wore. Okay, well that's where it's been rubbing in there on the triggering device. So what I've found is that GM actually makes a shim. And the shim is five thousandths a piece. And there's actually a service bulletin, a GM service bulletin on this that tells you that if you have a vehicle or something that's got a intermittent miss or shuts, shuts on and off really under um, power and stuff like a two three thousand rpm then this is one probable cause to look for is the sensor because they got a plastic timing cover on it and this timing cover was off and put back on I just replaced it and they started developing about a week later they started developing this intermittent problem so this sensor still tests good so what I'm going to do for now is I cut a piece of really thin gasket material I don't put around here and make it like a shim and put it back in there and see if I can get it to run right with that. If not, I'm going to call some dealers tomorrow and see if I can find a shim kit or two and um, use the real original shims for it. So, But if you ever do a timing cover or um, replace one of these crankshaft sensors or anything on a 4.3 especially with the plastic valve cover or the plastic timing cover um, you might want to pull the crank sensor out and just see if it's rubbing after you do this. So, but like I say, this was making an intermittent problem. It would under load anything over 2,000 RPM or so when you're putting the load on it, trying to give it fuel, it would start cutting out like jerking, just like the whole truck shutting on and off, and the tack would go wild. And this is what I've found so far. Okay, uh, put that crank position sensor back in it. I used that gasket that I cut for a little shim which spaced it out so it wouldn't be rubbing and um, <clears throat> it appears that all the drivability problems have went away. Check engine light went away immediately and um, seems to run okay. Starts good so um, I guess that's going to be the fix.